Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am being colourful again. And for today's video I'm going to be using the Billy Beauty Eyes of India eyeshadow palette. I did see Nisha who is another cruelty free and vegan YouTuber. I will put her information below. I saw her use this on Instagram and it looked beautiful and then they actually contacted me to see if they could send me one. So I did receive this in PR. I'm under no obligation to mention it or give it like a fantastic review or anything. I was just really excited to try it out. And for this video, I thought what I would do is put some little facts up on the screen about the brand or about the product because a lot of the time when I'm filming, I might forget to like note things that I thought were cool or interesting because I'm just in the zone. So let me know if you guys enjoy that. I'm thinking of a kind of like VH1 type of thing where I just give you little ditties of info as it seems relevant. So do let me know how you enjoy that and let's get into the tutorial. As usual, a little backup plan. I'm just using the ColourPop uh, translucent powder. It's a really nice one. So looking at the palette, you do have a nice big mirror on there, by the way. It does say that these three shades should be used damp, so I'll probably get them on a brush, spritz them with a little setting spray and then apply them. So you have 10 beautiful, really rich shades. So I think I'm gonna be able to create like a really deep kind of sultry look with this. Definitely check out their Instagram if you haven't already, cause they have a lot of really nice, um, rich kind of dark eye looks and stuff on there. And I've been kind of trying to mull it over as to what I'm gonna do with this. I do think that that green is beautiful, but I did just do like a completely green look. So I think what I'm gonna do is use the blue, this dark um, kind of warm brown, Kabari, then uh, maybe Mendy and Taj Mahal. I think that's my plan so far. Maybe a little bit of the Kajal shade, which is just a matte black. But then I actually thought Bengal and Sona could create a really beautiful look on their own. So maybe I'll try and do that eye look quickly afterwards and put an image in for you or something. But I think that's what I'm going to do is do like a blue and deep brown. So um, I guess we'll jump in. So as usual, I've got my eyeshadow base on already. I used the Luscious Cosmetics one and I have not set it with any powder yet. So I'm just going to go in and just kind of lightly dab any um, creasing that may have already occurred because, you know... I've got human eyelids. They usually have a little creasing. So there's not necessarily a shade that I would typically grab as a transition color, but when I did that in my last video, the old green one, and just kind of picked a shade and went for it, it actually <laughs> turned out quite well. So I think I might dip into uh, Mendy first, very lightly, and try and build up the kind of crease shade with that. And I've already kind of swatched these on my fingers, so I know that they <laughs> are very potent. So let's give this a go. And that was with just dabbing it into the color and really knocking off any excess. So there's a lot of pigment in these bad boys. Okay, so actually just like literally touching it to the color and taking off a lot of excess, I was able to build up a really nice shade that was still fairly soft and blended out. So that is awesome that these are super pigmented, but they're also, um, you can also use them with a very light hand as well. And definitely used a little lighter like this. It does pull a little bit kind of, almost a little pink, but I do really like it. So what I'm gonna do now is take a little bit of my just um, pressed face powder, and I'm gonna run that along the brow bone because like I said, I did not set that area and I don't trust myself not to get like dark shades all over my face. <laughs> so if you do ever get a palette that doesn't have like a shade that's similar to your skin tone or something that you would use as maybe a highlight shade, you can always just use your um, normal face powder. Pressed is always easier but I just find that helps. Then I'm going to go back to that blending brush with no uh, additional product on it and just kind of blend that in. And I'm blending right the way up to the brow, basically, just to kind of merge those two powders together. Then I'm taking a slightly smaller blending brush. It's a little bit more tapered, and I'm gonna dip into Kabari. I hope I'm saying these names right. And I'm going to kind of define the crease with that. Now 
Now some people prefer to kind of blend as they go, some may prefer to like really pack the colour in first and then blend it, so just do whatever feels most comfortable to you and what you find works. I kind of switch between the two a lot, so I don't know. Then I'm just going to dip back into Mendy on that um, blending brush and kind of merge the two colours. Hmm, I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. I think I might just dip into the blue now. So I'm just taking a small, almost like a tiny concealer brush. I'm going to dip into the blue shade Mayil. I think that's might be how you say it. I'm going to hit it with my setting spray. Let's see. Oh! So then for this top area, I'm just dipping back into it without um, re-wetting it. So that will be probably a little less potent because I do want to kind of blend it in with the uh, crease colors. Now a lot of shadows that recommend that you um, get them wet, usually it's just to kind of get them to be a little bit more intense or for like the shimmer to show up more or for it to look a bit more pigmented but this when I got it wet was almost like it turned into a paint like it just seems like a slightly different texture to when I've got shadows wet before very opaque very pigmented and a beautiful kind of sheen to it as well so I'm just gonna take a little more uh, wetted and I'm gonna kind of see if I can wing this out a bit I'm not really using a good brush to be precise with this but oh, I think that might be good anyway Love it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other eye and then I'll be right back. I mean, I'll be here the whole time. <laughs> All right, well, that blue shade, Mayil Wet, is like very fun to use. It literally is like it turns into a paint. Mm. And I do want to show you those other shades that need to be used wet. So I just got them on my fingers. I'm going to use that setting spray again. Keep in mind, I only really have tattoos to swatch over, so let's... Those are beautiful. It really is like they kind of turn into paint. So you could probably use these as liners as well, kind of like how I winged out the edge. And then obviously if you were building these up with brushes like I did, you will get them to be much more pigmented because even the blue on my eyes versus the blue on my hand is a little different. So I'm very carefully going to go back in with Kabari. Let's hope I don't mess this up. And then I'm just going back in with a bit more of the blue because I want to know if you can layer it and kind of touch it up and you can. I was a little bit worried that, I mean, with some kind of wet products that dry down, if you go back over it, it kind of picks up what you already did. But this just kind of all blends together nicely. So, Okay, I think in the interest of using a few more colors, I do want to try out that black. So I might put the black kind of at the tail. <laughs> The tail end of the tail. I'm just taking a tiny little brush to do this because I want to be quite precise. Oh, this is very black. If you use this black on a tiny brush and potentially even got it wet like I did with the blue, you could absolutely use it as eyeliner really easily. It is very black. It's beautiful. And I'm just gonna soften that a little up here. I, uh, I love it. <laughs> trying to decide what I wanna do on that lower lash line. I think I'm gonna keep it mostly bare, but I'm gonna take a little bit of Kobari, that dark brown again, on that tiny brush I used for the black. And I'm just gonna kinda drag that into like the outer quarter of the lash line I think. I am gonna use a little bit of brown liner. This is one from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it's kind of a, it's kind of like brown with a hint of shimmer through it and I'm gonna do my water line. A lot of the time I just find like a brown like this to be a lot easier for me to wear versus a black but obviously just do whatever suits you. 
And I'm just going to take a Q-tip and remove any blue from that inner corner on the bottom. Then I'm just taking Tiny Brush again. That's its name. I'm kind of rubbing that through the lashes a bit because my lashes are so blonde. Then I'm going to dust my powder away. I'm just using the edge of that brush to kind of clean up my little wing as well. Mm, I feel I feel like some type of superhero in this. Hang on. I'm gonna do a little bit of my face before I get back to the eyes. So I'm using the um, Luscious Cosmetics Face Contour Kit. Just probably take that out so I don't get a stencil of it in my face. Sticking with my good old fashioned put it everywhere blush from PYT. Everything will be linked below as usual. I'm gonna put that basically over my whole face. I'm gonna dip into this highlighter, the peachier one. And I love this shade almost to go like, again, like all over the cheek, like a blush topper almost. I feel like. Especially if I'm wearing um, more matte full coverage base like I have on now. I feel like it just puts like a little life back in. I'm going to dip into Taj Mahal on a little brush. Pop that in here. Ooh. It's a really nice kind of frosty highlight. I'm gonna pop that under the brow too. I'm also gonna put that on my nose. Then on a blending brush, the whole sweaty bridge. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back to um, do other things with you. I'm just going to run a tiny bit of black along that lash line. And then as with all of the other bright color eye looks I've been doing lately, I'm keeping the lips really neutral because we're talking eyes, so. Then I'm going to be taking one of the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumpers. This is an almost natural. And then I'm just going to set my face with a Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray and uh, I'll be right back. And then I think you know the drill by now. This is the finished look. We're going to talk about the palette. So first of all, I think I've said it a hundred times already, I love this eye look. I think at times people are reluctant to mix like warmer and cooler shades, like the warmth of the crease and then the coolness of that blue, but I actually think it's a really nice look. As for the color selection in the palette, I think they've done such a beautiful job. The palette itself is called Eyes of India and they even say that it is inspired by India and I think that that comes across in the richness and beautiful kind of like vibrant yet still very deep beautiful colors i think they've done a good job of picking some really great matte shades as well as the gorgeous shimmers and these um the ones that they say to use wet are really not like anything i've used before it literally did feel like it turned into a paint of some kind which was really easy to work with i could layer it like you saw and it didn't pick up any of the stuff it didn't like crumble or lose anything it was just the whole palette was really beautiful to work with. I also wanted to note that on the back, it does explain each shade and a little bit about it. So you also get to learn a little bit about the culture as well. Oh, and I just realized what Billy Beauty stands for. Billy stands for because I love it. That's really cute. So I really think anybody that wants those deep, beautiful, sultry, yet really vibrant shades would enjoy this palette. I also think this is going to be one that would be a supplemental palette to any like really neutral ones you might already have. And even though there wasn't that kind of matte 
um, eggshell or beige shade like what I'm used to using. You can just use your usual pressed face powder and that's a really good way of doing it because then regardless of your skin tone, you're going to have a good shade for your brow bone by doing it that way. I did have somebody DM me to say they couldn't find Billy Beauty on Logical Harmony yet, which um, if you're not aware, Logical Harmony is like the list that I typically go by when it comes to cruelty-free brands. And I do think they have applied to go through the process with them, but um, they are Leaping Bunny approved as well as they are certified vegan um, by vegan.org as well. So I guess this is kind of a good time for me to explain that a bit because I have had some questions on that. Typically, I will always go by the Logical Harmony list. It's just easy for me. I know that they are very thorough, but if there is a brand that comes up that I'm really interested in for whatever reason they are not on there or maybe haven't been um, added to the list yet, etc. I do have just a few questions of my own that I will ask to kind of get to the place where I feel comfortable that they are cruelty-free by my standards, I guess. I think a lot of different people have different ways of going about it. Some people will use brands with parent companies that might test on animals. Some people um, might just use brands that don't test on animals themselves, but maybe don't look into the raw ingredients, etc. So that is what I typically will do. Overall, I go by the Logical Harmony list, but if I come across a brand that I'm super interested in and I believe is probably cruelty free, I will just ask a series of questions for myself. So overall, a really fun palette to use, super easy to use. Like I said, they are really pigmented, but also you can use a very light hand and get them to blend out really nicely. So I think probably most anybody would enjoy this if you like these shades. Oh, and the palette is also cardboard because I know a lot of you prefer that versus the plastic palettes. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there is a palette or new release that you want to see me do this kind of video with because I have really been enjoying them, just let me know in the comments and I will meet you down there. Everything I used and mentioned will be linked and listed in the description box down below for you. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. My social media will be on the end screen, which you will see in a second and I will see you in the next video. Bye.